and welcome back to Jen's Diary. I'm your girl Jen and we are still trying to make it through Vlogtober. <laughs> uh, I have not posted in a couple days because I've just had a long relaxing weekend and it was everything that I needed but I'm back today on a Monday to do a quick haul with you so if you enjoy this content please stick around. If you're a returning subscriber I love you. I love you. I think we're around 320 subscribers right now so thank you all and for any new visitor I hope that you will enjoy this content and that you will also subscribe and tune in to the next video so let's just jump right into this haul and stick around and let's talk about it Okay, so today's haul, as I mentioned, is a part of my Vlogtober series, and I'm going to go through some fall inspiration styling haul on all gray items. So gray is definitely a neutral, it's a year-round color, but we're just going to give it a little bit of shine for this fall season. So I picked some of my favorite fall gray pieces here, and we're just going to kind of style them up and go through some of these looks. And as all Always let me know if you have any questions about any of these items. I'll be sure to include them in the description box. Uh, but we're just going to jump right in and go through a few of my favorite looks. Okay, so for the fall, I love, love, love to have a trench coat. I, when I think about what is Jen's personal style, it is leather and it is trench coats. I can wear a trench coat year round. I think it elevates any look that you have, whether it's date night or going for brunch or going to work even. Um, it really just does bring a look for me together. And so I am definitely always gravitating toward a trench coat. I'm not really a person that has a lot of those short crop jackets uh, because again trench is just my vibe it is my style and aesthetic personally um, I can remember one of my major purchases uh, when I was a teenager I was maybe around 18 19 and I had put this leather trench jacket on layaway at Wilson's leather I think Wilson's leather has since um, gone away um, but I was so excited to get this black trench leather jacket it really gave matrix vibe but the the leather was so soft and just so elegant and I wore that jacket out I mean I kept that jacket for so many years I may have even kept it for 10 plus years and it was really just my just the the one single item that really spoke to me and that's why I always do my leather series which I will be doing one soon um, but I, leather again is another um, a piece of my personal style that really speaks to me. I'm a person, if I can make leather work year round, I'm the person to do that. Um, but again, being here in the Bay Area, leather and trench jackets can be year round when you're here in the Bay Area. So, but anyway, not to get too off topic. So I do have a trench coat in my uh, haul today, but we're also going to do um, my favorite trench coats. That'll probably be my next video that I post tomorrow. Um, to just go through some of the trench coats that I like for the fall. So the first piece is going to be, I have these gray slacks that I recently purchased last week from Express. And I really love these slacks because of the pleating detail right in the front. Also, I love the wide legs and they have cuffs at the bottom. Um, and I just really think they're just, they're breathable. They're a lightweight material. Um, it may be like a blend, a cotton blend. Actually, it's polyester and it also has 3% spandex. So it's a little stretch to them, but it fits me perfectly. And I'm actually going to pair these trousers with this Donna Karen uh, kind of peekaboo sweater. It's a very light weight sweater, uh, which I think is also great, especially being in the Bay Area where you may have weather that maybe you get a little warm, maybe it's not snowing east coast 
cold, but you do want to have like sleeves and a little bit of layers. So I love dressing in this type of style. Um, this is something I could even wear to the office, um, but I probably would have something, well, I most definitely would have something underneath wearing this to the office to kind of uh, maybe a black turtleneck or a white turtleneck or maybe even nude or something would be under this this jack this uh, shirt to kind of uh, camouflage these cutouts but if I'm not going to work or to the office then I would wear it the way I'm going to pair it together today and also with that look I would likely pair it with this fabulous gray trench it's like a heather gray trench jacket that I believe I got from Naked Wardrobe no J Lux label and I love like if I were to pick a label that an affordable label that uh, really speaks to my style it would be J Lux. J Lux if you look at the models how clean and A-line they look and fresh and modern that would be my ultimate style my personal style so I could not has on this jacket having the faux fur collar which is also detachable I think I did detach it I wore it to work and it wasn't so cold that I needed the uh, fur uh, but I love 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 this full length trench so I would probably pair it together with the two items I just shared to just do a full gray look Okay, and next I'm just going to do a little pop of color just to give you some ideas of what you can also pair with gray for the fall, this season. So I have these two plum purple pieces from Express. I'm going to pair them with a gray jacket coat. And so these are just some slacks um, that I purchased, uh, again, about a week or so ago from Express um, that I'll try those on for you. And then I have this bodysuit sleeveless Express um, uh, top that's a part of the body contour uh, collection. And I love these pieces. So I'm going to pair these together just to give you a plum moment. And, um, and then I'm going to pair them with this Club Monaco uh, jacket. So it's very heavy. This jacket has a lot of weight to it, but it also has this, um, this belt that goes along with it, a little bit of detailing um, on the sleeves, just one button here, very deep functional pockets. And I think these would pair very nicely together, plum and gray. There are some uh, black details throughout this jacket. So I could wear black heels with it. I can do gray heels. Um, I can do a multitude of heels with it, but I definitely think this is a look as well. So now going to a dress. So I have this BCBG Max 
dress um, and I love this dress I have only worn this dress once to work um, but I love it for the fall it just screams fall to me it's very much like baby doll or a-line it's long sleeves it's a sweater material but then it has these faux leather pockets here um, they are functional but I've never really used them I just kind of like the look of them on each side and pairing this with some black knee boots leather boots is definitely a look um, I've also paired this with a black leather trench jacket in the past when I've worn it only one time before but I can also use the same Monaco um, sweater jacket with it as well with some boots and that will really bring the look together as well Can you handle, handle me? If you really want it, better come get you some But be careful what you wish for Make you eat your word If I'm more than what you bargain for One dessert, dessert But you ain't finished dinner But just be quiet Cause look at what I'm giving you You ain't really ready for real Okay, and then next I have this Affirm uh, gray and black faux snake skin trench jacket. I believe I purchased this from Nordstrom a few years ago, but I love like this little flap here like you have on a traditional London fog type of uh, trench jackets. It has a functional belt here. Um, it also has two functional pockets. Um, and it's very, it's, it's, it has weight to it, but it's also lightweight. Um, but I could pair this like really bring the gray out, but I was thinking about um, going a different direction and kind of having these they're kind of like a green remember the other day when I went back to Nordstrom because they did not ring me up for the one pair of pants I went to the store for well we're bringing those out right so it's kind of like a greenish gray color um, so I would say maybe pairing this with the snake print would really bring out the snake print but this is definitely gray in this jacket I can definitely bring out more of the gray but for the purpose of this look I just wanted to just kind of show you can also do some greens with gray and that also is a nice vibe and these pants are good American they're full leather um, they also have a little zip here so we're going to pair those together probably with a black Babaton uh, bodysuit top I've told you all before I have all the colors in these tops I actually just purchased three additional uh, tops the same style um, from Aritzia uh, Babaton collection uh, I just got a notification that they have a couple new colors uh, one is a red and you know we need red for the holiday so I just jumped on that one because there were only a few in stock um, and then I got like this Warriors blue which I definitely need being here in the Bay Area and going to Warriors games uh, and I forgot the other color that I got but I have every color and multiple duplicates of these because the quality I mean we've already talked about these tops these are basic necessities so I think I would kind of pair these together with this look Okay, 
And then the final look of this haul is going to be um, this Mark New York. It's Mark Jacobs New York jacket. I've had this jacket for a few years now and I just love how effortless and lightweight it is. It's a faux leather uh, but then it also has like a faux suede detail on the lapel. Uh, the inside piece um, but it's very lightweight and I just love that about this jacket um, I may keep it for a couple a little while longer it may be time to kind of move on from it but I do love this jacket and I've not worn it a ton but I definitely think it would go really well with this turtleneck that I'm loving this fall this Solace London uh, turtleneck I am loving the details on this turtleneck I've only worn it once uh, before uh, when going to New York for work um, I believe last year and I just love how warm it is the fit of it um, so I really wanted to kind of pair this with this jacket and maybe with some black trousers these are from Express as well Oh no, these are from Zara actually. Zara slacks I think would really bring out the black and also with the jacket would bring out the gray in this uh, turtleneck. Under the sun, but be careful what you wish for. Make you eat your words. If I'm more than what you bargain for, fun to flirt, but promise to deliver. Much is required. Cause look at what I'm giving you. You ain't really ready for real. Well, I thank you so much for tuning into my video today. If you have any questions about any of these looks, as always, let me know uh, in the comment section. I'll be sure to include all of the details of all of these looks in the description box for you as well. And if any of these items, because some of these items are a little older uh, and certainly are sold out at this point, I'll try to find a similar look for you if I'm able to find that. And then also if some of these pieces are on pre-love markets such as Poshmark, I'll be sure to include those links so you can explore there as well or even at eBay because sometimes these items will pop up there as well. But again, I appreciate you so much for tuning in my channel today. I hope that you've enjoyed this content and uh, please be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you are a new visitor. And again, I just thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Faithful to some